Okay guys, so if you did the uh, DVR mod for the uh, VR006 goggles, you're probably going to want to increase your battery capacity. So it's a, it's a 500 milliamp hour 1S battery. It's supposed to last an hour. Um, before the DVR mod, I'm not sure if I got an hour or not, but after I did the DVR mod, I was only getting about 40 minutes of runtime. So I'm going to add another battery in here. And you could just swap this whole battery. I just take this out and you're, you could just uh, connect it to this type of connector. It's a 1.25 millimeter connector. That goes right there. That would probably be the best thing to do. I'm going to do something a little bit more complicated. I'm going to leave that battery in there. I'm going to add this, uh, 600 milliamp hour battery with a micro low C connector. This is one that came with the QX90. I have a bunch of these lying around. Uh, ideally, you should probably create, a, you know, solder the wires and actually make a parallel battery out of this. I just put together a little parallel adapter here. One side's got a micro low C connector, the other side's got the connector for this battery, and which is the same as the one that's on here. Let me uh, show you this a little bit closer up. So I got two of these connectors here. Just the blacks are connected, the reds are connected. Uh, this is just a I'm just putting the two uh, 1S batteries into parallel so that um, basically it's still 1S but I'm increasing the capacity by the amount that I have here. It's a 600 milliamps so I should have 1100 milliamps total which um, hopefully will give me an hour and a half I'm guessing. I'm not 100% sure how much I'm going to get. But I'm just going to, you know, I've got a little space in here so I'm just going to stuff the battery in here like so. It'll, it'll fit right in there. And it's not going to come out. And then I just plug the uh, two batteries together. And then now these batteries are now in parallel. Now before you do this, you want to make sure that the two batteries are within same voltage range, like within like like a tenth of a volt would probably be ideal. Uh, I charge these both up to 4.2 volts, so it should be exactly the same voltage, so um, it shouldn't be any problem. If you ha if like one battery is a lot lower than the other, then all the current is going to rush from one battery into the other, and you could have some problems like a fire, for example. So just be <laughs> be careful. So we're gonna have to you're gonna have to uh, if you do it this way, you're gonna have to get the wires. Uh, kind of over to the side here because this, otherwise it won't close up. I'm going to stuff it down in here and then we'll just plug it in. Okay, so I got it plugged in. Let's just turn it on and see that it's working. Okay, looks like it's working. Okay, it looks like it's working and it's reading 4 volts, I think. I think the voltage reading is a little bit off on this one because I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be about 4.2. We just charged these. And I do know that at about 3.6 volts, the this little reading here will start flashing. And then it shuts off at about 3.5 volts. So you should just be aware of that. Anyway, guys, that's a super easy way to add another battery here to increase your capacity and runtime. Obviously, it's going to add a little bit more weight, but I don't think that an extra 20 grams is going to hurt that much. Uh, it's pretty easy to make a little parallel adapter. You have to have these little connections. Obviously, if you don't want the extra weight, it would be easier just to make your own parallel connections by soldering the wires together. Just cut off this connector here, cut off that connector there, solder the blacks and the reds together, and then you have one, just basically one bigger battery. The way I did it here is kind of messy, but if I want to uh, take this battery out, put a different battery in there, uh, I can just reverse this very easily. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.